Are we completely finished with surface prep right now? Are you satisfied you got a good coat to start yeah. painting? David Scott had a vision. We had a grand vision for what we might be able to do to bring Ebor back to prominence for Tampa. Two years ago, David Scott approached the City of Tampa Art Programs Division about his ambitious project, and a partnership was formed to develop the Adamo Drive mural project. The overall project is about a $30,000 scope. Uh, the city contributed a good deal of that. We raised the rest of the money through private donations. We had some really significant donors. Uh, the Kimmins Contracting Corporation is one, the Columbia Restaurant's another. Rotary Club of Ybor City gave us a very generous contribution. Uh, Sherwin-Williams gave us a lot of paint. Uh, there are people that have been out here on their own time and, uh, and money to uh, help prepare the building, and a lot of good citizens downtown who bought uh, cookies at the Saturday market. So that was our fundraising. Fabricated Products is providing the canvas for this mural, which will span two city blocks. This is a gigantic space to put an image on. It poses a couple of challenges. One is sort of the uh, non-rectangular format of, of the space, and the other is that uh, it's a major highway going through here. Muralist Mike Parker was selected through a call to artists developed by the City of Tampa. It was important to the Adamo Drive Mural Committee that the artist who was selected reach out to the community for input on content. Mike Parker did just that. We offered free workshops to the community. A couple of them were painting and one was uh, collage making. So these workshops were specifically geared to creating a large-scale mural for somebody that wasn't familiar with the process of, of doing that. Over the next few months, watch Mike Parker and his team bring the site to life. This is Melissa LeBaron for Spotlight Tampa.